Hi, welcome to another realistic tutorial. My name is John. Today we'll look at linking SketchUp files into Twinmotion. There are two ways of doing this, the direct link method and the import method. Let's have a look at the direct link method. We're in SketchUp. I assume that you've already installed the Twinmotion toolbar. Um, if you haven't, you can download this from the Twinmotion website. There are three buttons in there. There's the C in Twin Motion button, there's a Settings button, and there's the uh, Online Help button. We've placed an origin marker so you'll be able to see where and how the SketchUp model links into Twin Motion. We select the C in Twin Motion button, and it will take us into Twin Motion, into the Direct Link window. Select New Project and click OK. We have SketchUp model linked into Twinmotion. Three things to note. First thing, the model is linked origin to origin. If you select the Twinmotion terrain, you will notice that the origin point of the terrain is actually right on top of the SketchUp linked model. The second thing to note, the terrain is slightly lower than the SketchUp model. To fix that, you select the terrain, pick the up arrow, and you adjust the terrain until it is in the right position. The third thing to note is that when you link a model, you will not be able to move it. When you select the model, the transform handles are not available for you. So you cannot move or rotate a linked model. We'll create a new scene. Let's look at an imported model from SketchUp. Open the Twin Motion program. Go to the Import panel and select the Plus button. You navigate to your SketchUp file and select Open and hit OK. If you select the terrain, you find that the origins are aligned. The second thing to note is the terrain is slightly below the important model. So to adjust it, you select the terrain and adjust the levels as you need. The third thing to note, and this is the difference between a linked model and an important model. A link model cannot be moved, but an important model, you can select any parts of the model and you can rotate it or move it Thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen and you like to be notified of any new tutorials we create in the future, please subscribe.